Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to some more Surviving with Witchery here with me, Chillum. And we are floating as a bat, or bats <laughs> rather, above uh, our big village. Our, our home is just over there, and this is the village now. Many, many peeps, many peeps last time pointed out that uh, the next stage of vampirism is to go and fly. Literally, as it says, you know, he went around and flew around all of his villages and uh, then knew the full extent of his terrain or whatever. Now... Oh, did you hear that? Bing. That means that I have um, successfully <laughs> dinged this village. Uh, apparently, you need to uh, fly from one village to another, and you hear that little ding, which is handy. Let's uh, whoop. let's quickly check where there's home. Oh, my map's broken. That's handy. Uh, there's another village. I think we have to fly over there. So, what we're going to do is quickly port home <laughs> in bat form. I love it. And we'll fly off in this -ish direction. Good stuff. Cool, man. So, excuse me. Ugh, really nasty tea, but. Um, yeah, so, oh, blimey, last episode. All good. We defeated Lilith. Um, where am I? Hello, me. I'm that way. I want to be heading up that way. Ish, east, northeast. I think it's that one. Let's just double check because I got a. I got to, I really do. Do, do, do. Heading off. Oh, more or less. Yeah, fine. Right, let's just do this quickly because we are in night. So, yes. The Lilith fight was cool. It was fun. It was alright. It worked. Now, there's lots of different things. Um, one, apparently the potions of weakness were no good. Um, although I'm still sure. Even though I know, uh, I think it was Big Red Button Gaming went off and did extensive tests with Liliths. <laughs> he said he <laughs> fought 13 of them. Um, finding out whether or not, and apparently weakness potions did nothing, but the Bruiser Flowing Spirit did, so, meh. All good, might have been a bit of a waste, but the Demon Bane definitely worked. The other thing that was pointed out was that it looked like Lilith was actually dying in the wall, which helped us fight her a lot. Where the hell is this freaking village? My god, it's not that far, surely. Oh, this is slow. I didn't realise Batflight was quite so slow. Uh, we can't boost ourselves either. I tried using the um, speed boost, but no, that doesn't work. So I was saying, yeah, so Lilith, if you look at the video, <laughs> go back and check it out. She's going through this um, shrinking, growing thing, and it looks like she's suffocating in the wall as she's doing it. So the battle tower, you know, <laughs> served its purpose, even though we could have added loads to it. I think uh, one of the viewers was saying that, you know, we could put dispensers on there, shooting out potions automatically and all that kind of stuff. And I was like, yeah, that's a bloody good idea, actually. <laughs> but um, I didn't have the time to prep that much, so just threw up the tower as it was. Right, there should be another village over here somewhere. Um, so that was cool. But yeah, so maybe potions of weakness aren't needed after all. But either way, we defeated her and that is fine. Fine and dandy. My god, it's got to be here. I see a hut. I know, I know it's here somewhere. Must be close. So, yes, that's rather cool, which is pretty sweet. But yes, not too bad. Hang on, I'm just looking for this freaking village. I know it's here somewhere. Is it actually? It's not that thing, is it? Let's see. Oh, we're right near it. It's here. There we are. So hopefully, when we fly over this one, we'll hear another ding. I don't know how many we have to visit. I think it's maybe only one or two. Oh, look at all of them. There we go. I've discovered yet another village. So that's two. Oh my god, there's thousands of them down there. That's amazing. Um, let's quickly journey map this. I think... We may have another one, in fact, in this direction. How much time have we got? Hmm. Night is getting on, but maybe we need to revisit this third village. Now, there was another interesting uh, point was made. Um, not knowing how Minecraft treats villagers, exactly, and how it determines whether or not a village is a village, as it were. Um, there was a theory that maybe, just maybe... The bunch of uh, villages I had underground were also counting as a village, but I don't think so now. Haven't looked at it. So this, this would be our third village we're about to find. Hopefully, this will be enough. So, but we didn't hear that ding under our village, or maybe we did. I don't know. <laughs> We've done two now, so hopefully, this is. There we go. Your thirst grows stronger. That is our third, third place to visit. Oh no, do we have any? Ah, oh, let's just go home. Running out of time. There we go. So. Um, let's anti bat form. <laughs> oh, I love this thing. So cool. So we are the next level up again now, which is fantastic. Which means, thanks to everybody for pointing all that out to me. 
that we could do this, the weak-minded, bloody bloody blah. Um, so he flew from village to village until he knew the full extent of his domain. There was no way he could go now. Ah, oh, so good. Um, the weak-minded would not only let him drink his fill, but would also follow him like faithful hounds, horror of all horrors. He lured five of them to specially prepared iron cages. Now, I can't remember if I had any iron caging left. Because I made some. There we go. I knew there was some somewhere. 17 should be plenty. So, ooh, that was weird. Um, yes, the iron cages. I've made the cage, cages, for our little beasties. And I believe... Well, I don't know about the final part of this. I think we need to give them... Some of our blood, somehow? Ooh -wee. Not sure. Um, let me show you my crypt. It's it's, it's cobblestone-y, but it's it's kind of cool looking. I do dig it. So under here, as per normal, everything else is as was. Uh, but then round here, I started building this monstrosity. And we've got these pillars. Now again, it's all cobblestone, so it kind of <laughs> hurts my eyes. So it's not great. But we have a little sort of area in here, which we have a main crypt in so I'm thinking we could probably use these for shelves somehow get a skull up here maybe something else we can place up there I don't know yet but this is like our little main resting area for the time being it's not too bad it's like our little a little well crypt <laughs> for want of a better description below me anywho so that's really cool I'm digging now I wonder if I can port my way up there uh. wow interesting uh, nice. Okay, cool. Oh, that was easy. Right. Hello, you little beauties. So, our mesmerized transfix. Uh, hmm. That's interesting. Oh, we're going to sleep. Uh, I do need to feed on them, but maybe I need them awake now. That's a bugger. Because around here, what I have ready is a bunch of these cages. We have five of these lined, as we had before, but wood this time instead of wool. Fantastic. And there's nowhere these villagers can escape to. So hopefully... I don't know, maybe I have to wait for them to wake up. That would be a pain in the butt. That really would. But, oops. There we go. Alright. Um, transfix tall night vision. No, you see, it's, it's not that. It's... Are you... Oh, there you go. All I need to do is just transfix him. That's amazing. Come on out, my friend. That's grand. And if you just want to... Let's put you in the furthest one away. Let's see if you go over here. Whoa! Um, Alright, well... But <laughs> can't, can't argue with that. There we go. I'll consider you trapped. Fair enough. <laughs> That's weird. Weird and strangely easy. How much time have we got? It's nearly dawn. So let's just transfix another one. Get him out of here. This is actually... Uh, strange. Strangely easy. Right, you get in there. And pock. Oh, Alrighty, one more. How about you, sir? Why don't you come with me? Lovely. And let's put you in here. Amazing. Now, back up a bit, sir. If you could just come in here, you're all my chosen vampire. Hello. Uh, to be fair, what I should be doing, I should really breed these guys first. Hmm, I don't know if I've got a brew of love left. Oh, no. They're all awake. This suddenly got really complicated. It was easier when they were asleep, to be fair. <laughs> ah, now they all would leave, you see. Right, well, let's go see if we can't find ourselves a quick brew o love um, I'm not sure if we did have one or two left. I really can not remember. Uh, brew of raising. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I want to make one real quickly, and I'll be right back. Uh, yeah, I can't remember what it was either. Oh, man. Right, see you in a second. Yeah, I'm an idiot. It was in a box all along. Let's grab these brews of love. Let's respawn these guys down here. Man, what a pointless edit. <laughs> if I just looked a little bit harder, I would have seen them right there. All along. And do 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 Yeah, so I want to breed a few more of these up before we grab the rest of our children, as it were. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Boom! Babies! How many? Three, by the looks of it. Let's see if we'll get in a corner. Bang! <laughs> that was just another extra couple. That's not bad. That is so crazy. <laughs> it's, it's, it's ridiculous how easy it is to breed villagers now. Bang! <laughs> Bang. <laughs> Bang a rang. And one more for luck. Um, let's wait till they all group up. There we go. Right, so that's, that's enough villager fodder for now. I think that'll keep us going for the time being. 
pretty sweet. We're just going to pop through here. No, no, sir. No, no. Well, if you're that keen, let me mesmerize you and see if the other ones won't go away while we wait. So we've got one, two left. That's that's pretty stonking, to be honest. Come on, guys. I'd appreciate if you could go to sleep and then leave this one dude alone. How about it? You, sir. Let's see if we can't get you out real quick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Love it. In here, please. Go on. In you go. No. You rotter. Get in there. In here. Come in here. Hoi. You. You're disobeying me. I don't appreciate that. Get in here. That's it. In you go. In you go. No. What's the matter with you? In you go. Come on. I haven't got all night. All day, as it were. You are a... Oh, you... I could... You know what? Last time, my friend, last chance. <laughs> if you don't come in here this time, you are a dead villager. I swear, you, you. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I'm not having that. <laughs> not having that. Let's get another villager on the go here. Oh. You, squire. No, no, no. All right, a couple of them escaped, but that's fine. Let's get them out of here. I don't want you in there. You're no good in there. Ah, oh, man. It's all gone horribly wrong. Look, you, little un, out you come. You're in there. That's perfect. Bang. Sweet. Oh, we've done it. We've actually done it. Hooray. So, we've only got the one one left. That's you. Transfix you real quick. Over here. Come on. You know where you want to go. Want you in there. Nope. Come on. Come on. No, you, look, come on, come on. Did you hear the dong there as well? I think that's my hobgoblin patron statue recharging me, and I'm all the way over here, which is rather good. Look, you, last chance, <laughs> you horrible little villager, get in here. Come on, in there, go. No, what is the matter with you? Why are you, of all the villagers, there's always one, there's always one. <laughs> and there's always one. Well, there's one or two this time, to be fair. Come on, get in here. Look, you guys, honestly. Boom. <laughs> there we go. So, uh, I believe we need to transfix them and then feed from them until they're virtually dead, but not quite. So, transfix and feed. Oh, it went ding. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Transfix and feed. Lovely. Ooh, this is interesting. Transfix and feed. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Another couple more times. Transfix, feed. <gasps> Oops. Ooh, ooh. I wonder if I need to do a little bit more on each one of them. Transfix and feed. There we go. That's the five. We've done it again. We've leveled. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So, oh my good gods, oh lordy lordy, uh, that's not the book we want, that's the book we want. The weak-minded would only follow, so we've done that, horror of horror, specially prepared iron cages, topped with wool, get the front, he sealed them inside, yes I did, he began feeding from them, mesmerising them, yes, excellent, and then he could drink all he could, without damaging them, until there's a little ding, very handy. At last he knew his blood was strong enough to replicate what she had done for him, left weak, close to oblivion, but I watched him fill a glass goblet, <laughs> goblet, goblet and hand it to me, so yes... That's the thing. I now need to... F I'm not entirely sure, actually. You know what? It might be worth researching what to do next. I shall be right back. All right, so I've only gone and lost my last glass goblet. <laughs> so I just had to make this one. But apparently... If I just right-click on this now, maybe? Shift right-click. Dang it, how do I fill it with blood? There was nothing really mentioned. Uh, let's have a look. Create vampires, place now turn villagers into other vampires by using a glass goblet to collect their own demon-tainted blood. Hmm. I wonder... Maybe I have to stand by the cages to do it. Who knows? Bing. See if we go. A little bit of an infusion recharge again. Now, there is... <laughs> I don't think there's that many there. We're going to check that out before the end of the episode. At least I hope we will. I'm going to try and remember to do that. Hey, guys. Bye. Hee <laughs> hee. Suckers. Right, so what's the deal with this? Now, I don't want to trade with you. I don't want to, I don't want to give you anything. It's not, not working, is it? Do I have to hit you with it? No, that's just made you angry. <laughs> How do I collect my own blood? This is awkward. Son of a gun. 
So, once again, my dear coven, patience is a virtue. Uh, yeah, just hold it down for a little bit longer and you can collect blood into your own mug. So, hopefully now... Victim is not mesmerised. Aha, okay, let's... Mesmerise you and... Victim must be drained of blood. I drained you of blood. No, I've drained you too far, haven't I? Look. Victim is not mesmerised. Mesmerise and drink. Must be drained of blood. But you are drained of blood, my friend. Oh no, how's this... <laughs> Why do you not work now? Victim must be drained of blood, but I can't drain you any further. Maybe this is the purpose of them being in a cage, actually. Let's... Transfix and... But that means I have to go transfix and... <coughs> That's not right. That can't be right. Look, let's mesmerise you. Drink more blood. Victim must be drained of blood. I don't understand. That's a bit weird. It's... Where's my night vision gone now? There we go. Weird. <laughs> What's going on? You... Hmm. Maybe this isn't the last thing then. Maybe I need to transfix and drink my blood. But you are drained of blood, my friend. See, one too many. It just it just gets miffy on me. I seem to suck at being a vampire again. What are the odds? Thank you. Um. You cannot be drained anymore. Drain and. Damn it! <laughs> Victim must be drained of blood. Well, that's a bit of a curiosity, because that's all all I'm really supposed to be able to do with them, I think. Is to put them in there. Maybe the ritual I haven't leveled, I'm not I'm not top tier vampire yet, am I? I don't believe I am. Blood power. See I haven't created any child vampires as it were. You rotters. Why? Drink! Drink! <laughs> but you do not need to be drained of blood. Apparently you do. That's that's just God dang it. Well No, it's definitely not having it. I don't I don't know what I did wrong in that case. They're all in the right place. So. Mesmerize. Feed you some milk, you are mostly drained of blood. As drained as you could be. I don't know. That's a little bit weird. Hmm. Alright, so I'm gonna try one last thing. Let's open this push all these guys out of here. I'm going to do it all in one one fell swoop, so do you you come out here we'll close that, we'll put you in here come on sir in you come, no you meanie no, I'm not going to go through this again you squire get in here, come on you're so close to being just in the right spot, once again just in you go, come on, it's not hard why you can't do this you horrible, horrible, god damn it! <laughs> Mesmerize. Come on, you're supposed to be able to do this because I'm mesmerizing you. In you go. In you go. Close enough. Ah, nuts, now he's got one and I don't have a freaking. <sighs> do he kill me? So, let's see. Once we've broken this, um, mm, 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 we're going to mesmerize him again, drain him down to. Maybe it'll go ping again? I don't know. I don't know. I killed the guy that was in here before. Holy moly, these take forever to break without a freaking pick. Why am I running around without a pick? Who knows? That is nearly done. So yeah, mesmerize, feed until it goes ding, and then we can try and feed him a couple of our blood, and hopefully that'll be it. I don't know. A little bit disappointed so far. Okay, let's see. So, mesmerize. Drink, 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 drink. To there, and then... You must be victim. I swear, I'm, that's what I'm supposed to do. I know. Hmm. I've checked the wiki, and it does say. You know, you collect your own blood and you give it to them. That's all well and good. But to convert other villagers, you need like a coffin nearby, and you need to fully drain them of blood and stuff. I don't know. I'm a little bit confused. All the vampires. This is uh, Chillum calling all the vampires in my coven. <laughs> if any of you have any words of advice, I've had to actually complete this final stage. That would be amazing, because I don't know quite what I've done wrong. I'm not entirely sure. Man, look at them all. Oh, we do need to drink. We need to drink real bad. We're so thirsty. So, while uh, while these guys sleep... I don't know, can I drink from... Can I drink from children? <laughs> That's just horrible. 
Oh man, this game, it's so dark. And you've got the same blood pool as their parents as well, which is rather nice. That's all good. Well, we'll just uh, we'll just top up while we finish off the episode. So, yes, any advice would be greatly appreciated. I don't know what I've quite got wrong there at the end. No surprise, though, that something's gone a bit amiss. But hey, <laughs> it's just the way it goes. But yes, thanks a lot, guys. Anyhow, thank you again for watching. I'm hoping you're enjoying yourselves as always. Oh, we're full of blood. Fantastic. And we're nearly there. We're nearly at the very end. So we're going to make ourselves some vampire children at the very, very end. And we can get ourselves a blood crucible, I believe, which means that when they go out at night to do whatever they do to gain their sustenance, uh, they can bring blood back to us and we can use it for special powers. But there we go. All right. Well, thanks again for watching. I hope you've had a great time. <laughs> this is just... Oh, I can't believe we're coming to the end of our vampirim... Vampirim? Wow, our vampirism um, levelling, as it were. We can settle in as a vampire laird and just uh, chill for a while and see what we can come up with back into the witchery schools. Awesome! Right. Well, I'll see you guys later. Thanks a lot for watching, as always. I hope to see you here next time again, as always. Wow, what an outro. Anyhow, <laughs> thanks a lot. Cheers.